Let's create a radial bar chart in ChartJS4. So let's start to create our radial bar chart here. I already have used my border template and I have created a donut chart here. So you can find a border template here. ChartJS3 getting started. Just make sure you go to that specific link. You can find the link as well in the description box. So now what I want to do is I want to control the circumference of this. So what I'm going to do here, enter. I'll say here circumference. And then we can put in here 270 degrees because we know a full circle is six, uh, 360. So you can see here this works, but this is 75% of the circle. However, this value should be based on the highest value here. And in this case, our highest value is 12. So I want to make this a calculated value so that every other data set will understand as well how far they have to go. So we're going to say here, circumference, and I'll make this a callback functionality. Say here, CTX, and let's do a console log of CTX. Save, refresh, open up developer tab, and you can see it doesn't show now the red bar because we didn't return a value. So then in here we have the data set, that's where we need to go, and then we're going to get here the data, because I want the value, data index zero, value of that specific item, which is in this case 12. So if I say here, dot data set, dot data, index zero save refresh we get the value of 12 all right now what i want to do is i want to basically calculate the percentage of this so we say here return whatever this value is divide by the highest value and it's a hard-coded value because i'm just going to assume we have one fixed value of 12 and then multiply this by 270 degrees save refresh there you are all right so this looks quite nice Let's copy and paste this on the other items. So we have here another data set, paste, and another data set, paste, save, refresh. So this looks quite nice. Let's do some final finishing touch. So I'll just do it in the options here. I'll say here cut out percentage. And we just say this one will be 85%. If I save that. Uh, of course, comma, save refresh all right that looks nice but let's put in here some space between so maybe instead of this we want to put in some space so i'm going to say here well first of all i want to make this border radius let's make it round and let's give this 10 pixels comma save all right and then maybe like this as well but then what i want to do save refresh final one is the white space here well we cannot do a real white space here, so I have a trick. As I'm going to say here, the border width will be 5 pixels. And I just give you the border color white. So I'm just going to copy this. Apply this on every specific item here. Save, refresh, there we are. Now we have this nice effect here on our, uh, uh, on our radial bar chart.